Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today's video is very important video for all the exams like Net Physics Exam, Gate Physics, Gist, TIFR, and all other physics entrance exams. Now, if we are going to talk about this thing, that what we will discuss in this video. So, guys, basically, I'm going to tell you the 10 most important topics of quantum mechanics. Along with this, we will also discuss this thing that how can we have a very good command on all these topics so that we will be able to solve the questions based on these topics very easily and also in very less time. And I hope that after watching this video, you will find that these topics are very easy as well as in just some time, you will easily be able to solve the questions based on these topics. And along with this guys, you can expect the questions based on these topics in the upcoming exams which we have already discussed okay and if there will be anything like in any of these topics if you are going to find like any topic you find difficult so what you can do you can comment below this video and i will try to provide you the videos on those topics or i will try to clear your doubts regarding that particular topic now next thing is Guys, if you are new on this channel, so what you can do, you can subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Along with this, you can also share the videos with your friends. And now we can start the discussion about the topics as well as the steps we need to take to understand these topics. And basically, how can we solve the numerical problems? We are going to focus on that thing. So now let's start the video. So guys, the very first topic I have mentioned here is the expectation value. And if you will look at the previous year question papers, you will find like almost in all the previous year exams, okay, like you will find the questions based on the expectation value. It can be the question of such kind in which you have to find the expectation value of energy, expectation value of Hamiltonian, okay. So how can you solve this kind of question, okay. So guys, you just need to know about this thing that what is the formula we are having for expectation value, okay? For any operator, if you want to find the expectation value for any operator, what is the formula for that? So know about that particular formula. Along with that, you need to do one more thing. That is, just solve the questions which have been asked in the previous years from this particular topic. So if you will solve that question, if you will be familiar with the formula, I hope that after that it will be very very easy for you to solve any of the questions based on this particular topic. Along with this, I would like to suggest you one more thing, like there are different operators we are, we are going to study in quantum mechanics. So in that case, you should know about this thing that what is the value of that particular operator. So if it is possible for you, just know about the values of the operators so that it will be very very easy and convenient for you to solve the questions based on the expectation value. Okay, now next topic is probability. So again, just know about the basic formula of probability which we use in the quantum mechanics. After that, what you need to do, just solve uh, some of the questions from the previous years which are related to this particular topic that in which you need to find the probability and I hope that after that you are going to find it very very easy. But as I have already uh, discussed this thing that if there is any topic in which you are having any difficulty in solving the questions, you can do one thing. You can comment below this video about that particular topic and I will try to clear your doubts and I will try to discuss that particular topic in such a manner that you will find it very easy. Okay. Now, next is uncertainty. So, so guys, you can expect the questions from all these topics. Okay, like not all these, but yeah, some of the, from some of these topics, you can expect the questions. Like here I mentioned 10 topics. So if there will be 5 questions or 6 questions in the exam from the quantum mechanics, you can expect that those questions can be any of these topics. Okay, so that's why it is very, very important. Now, if you are going to talk about the uncertainty, so guys, in uh, finding out the uncertainty, there are the steps which we need to take. And if you will look at the formula of uncertainty, you will find that there you are going to require the expectation value, okay, as well. So if, if this topic will be clear to you, it will be very easy for you to understand this thing that how can you find the uncertainty. And along with that, the steps will also become very easy for you, okay. So next topic is commutator bracket 
And here, I'm going to discuss one more thing. So, commutator bracket is a topic which is very, very easy. You just need to know about this thing that what are the steps you need to, to uh, take and also how can you solve that commutator bracket. Just this is the very simple thing, okay? And we just represent the commutator bracket with the square brackets. And if we are going to find the commutator bracket of A and B, so there is just a very simple expression. And again, there are great chances that you can expect the questions from the commutator bracket in the exam. Also guys, along with this, you need to prepare one more thing that is the angular momentum. So there are different uh, formulae related to the angular momentum. I'm not saying that go through the complete topic, but I'm going to tell you that uh, what are the expressions you need to know which are going to help you to solve the questions in the exam. Okay, related to the commutator bracket. So guys, here we are having different formulae related to commutator bracket which are related to the angular momentum as well. Okay, like the x component or the y component or the square. Okay, so in this way, like the square of the angular momentum. So in this case, if you will already be familiar with all those expressions and their answers, so it will be very, very easy for you to answer those questions. So it is better if we are going to know about those formulae. Okay. Uh, instead of solving them in the exam, it is more better that if you will be familiar with the formulae, it is going to save your time in the exam as well. Okay, similarly, you are having the expressions related to commutator bracket related to the momentum, linear momentum as well. So, it will be better if you will go through those formulae, okay. And uh, like if you will look at the previous year question papers as well, you will find that most of the questions based on the commutator bracket have been asked from these topics or related to the linear momentum or the angular momentum or the position. So only such kind of topics are uh, like having the great chances. Now next is orthogonality and the normalization conditions. So yeah, there are some of the questions uh, like sometimes in any question when you are going to solve a particular question, you may have to use these conditions when you are going to take the steps to solve that particular question. But there is one more thing that you can also expect any question which will directly be based on these properties. So these properties are also very important. Okay. So just know about the pro properties or uh, the properties or the conditions we are having for the orthogonality or the normalization condition. Or sometimes you, you will find that there will be written orthonormal. So whenever there will be orthonormal mentioned in the question, that means you need to know about both the conditions, orthogonality and normalization. Okay orthonormal. Now next is WKB approximation method. Most of the times you will find that uh, in any of the question they are going to ask about finding the energy. Okay. So in that case it is going to help you a lot of time uh, times along with that if they are going to ask about the dependency of energy on the value of n. In that case also there we are having a short trick uh, for finding out the dependency of energy on the power of uh, power of n. Okay. Now, along with this guys, sometimes what is going to happen, like if you will find the options, okay, you can see that in the options, all the options are going to contain the same power of n. So in that case, the short trick is not going to work. In that case, you have to use the detailed method of the WKB approximation method, okay. So that is also very easy. And all those topics I would like to say are very easy. You just need to do one thing to prepare these topics and that one thing is to know about the formulae. And just to solve some of the questions from the previous years. I hope that after that it will be very very easy for you to solve any of the questions based on any of these topics. Now next one is energy wave function expressions. Now for which of the systems you need to know about the energy and wave function expressions. So guys here I have just mentioned mainly two systems. One is harmonic oscillator. The another one is one dimensional box, two dimensional box, three dimensional box. It is like similar kind of expressions we are having, okay, for 1D, 2D and 3D. Similarly, for harmonic oscillator, we are having the expression. There we are having the anisotropic harmonic oscillator. So, these are the important systems we can say. Also, there will be some of the other as well, okay. So, in this way, if you will be familiar with the energy and the wave function expressions of these topics, it will be very helpful for you to solve the questions based on these topics. So have a look at the energy and wave function expressions for some of the important topics. Okay, uh, these are important also there can be more. Okay, so you just need to know about those things. Uh, sometimes you will find the direct question based on those expressions can be there. If you are familiar with the expressions, it will be very easy for you to answer those questions. Okay, 
Next is wave function at any later time t. Let's say if any wave function has been given to you and you want to find the wave function at any later time t, okay, like at t is equal to 0, the wave function has been given to you and you need to find it at any later time t. So in that case, we are having a fixed expression in the form of the exponential function. So that makes the things very easy. Just by using that expression, we can find out this thing. So you don't need to worry about this thing that there will be uh, too many things, many steps you need to take to get the answer. No, it is just that expression which is going to help you a lot to find the answer for such kind of questions. Along with this guys, in such kind of questions, you may require the energy expression for that system which will be mentioned in the question. So this point is going to help you to solve the questions. Uh, for this point as well, that is the eighth point. So if you will prepare this point, it is going to help you here as well. Now, the next important point is first and second order correction to energy. Okay. So guys, it is from the perturbation theory. So uh, if you will look at the questions in which you need to find the first order correction to energy or the second order correction to energy. So it is very easy to solve those questions because again, we are just having the expression or the formulae for those things like with the help of which we are very easily, we will very easily be able to get the answer for the first order correction to energy as well as for the second order correction to energy. Okay. Now next is total time derivative of any variable. If you need to find the total time derivative of any variable, do you know what you need to do? You are again having just one formula and if you will use that formula, it is like just going to be a question for which you already know the answer. Okay. Like just you need to solve some of the steps and you are going to get the answer. So it is like basically what it means. It means that you have to find the dA over dt where a I have considered that variable here. So for dA over dt we are having the expression in terms of the commutator bracket and the partial derivative. Okay. As well. So that is the partial derivative for dA over dA t and the commutator bracket with the Hamiltonian. So guys, just with the help of the expression which we are having for this system as well, for this expression as well, it will be easy for you to get the answer for this question. So after uh, like doing the analysis from the previous year question papers, I have noted down these topics here. Okay. And there are like we can say the great, great chances that you can expect the questions from these topics in the exam. So try to have a very good command on all these to topics. So that if any question related to these topics will be in, in the exam, you will easily be able to solve that. Okay. So guys, now if you are having any doubt in any of these topics or if you are going to solve the previous year question papers, questions related to the topics and you are finding them difficult or is there, if there is any doubt related to any point uh, from any of these topics. So you can let me know about that thing. Okay. I will try to clear your doubts and again, you can do one thing. You can comment below the video. Okay, and uh, that there is something like uh, with the help of which I'm going to know that okay, you are having the difficulty in this particular topic, and I can try to provide you some content related to that. So, guys, uh, I hope that now it is clear that which are the topics which everyone should prepare, and from which there are great chances that the questions can be there in the exam. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. And if there is uh, like any doubt or any query, comment below the video. And if you like the video, do one thing. You can like this video and share it with your friends as well. So thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end. And if you are new on this channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Thank you.